Okay, good morning. Heading off to uh, SC260 this morning, uh, which is over by El Cajon, California. Uh, it's not that far a drive. Um, not a huge peak, but uh, get me outside. It's going to be a hot one today. I never get started early enough, but uh, relaxing morning with a cup of coffee. Let's go hit the hill. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. All right. Here is the trailhead. Looks like they wanted you to stay on some kind of marked trail. I reckon. So, off we go. Goes right along this fence. Uh, keeping us out of private property areas. A lot of birds and cranking away out here. It is very overgrown. Grass and wonderful green lush stuff, which in a few months will turn into flash fuel. <laughs> very unfortunate uh, cycle that we live here. But uh, c'est la vie. Alrighty then. All kinds of rules up here. But the chain is down. Uh, for our mountain bikers, so that's nice. Off we go. Pretty pungent uh, smells from all of the plants that are popping out up here. I'm getting some jasmine and some other stuff too. It's amazing. Um, this is actually published trails as um, you'll see in the map that I place here. Um, and then you can go over to hamninja.com to see the associated blog post. I'll put a link down in the in the uh, description here. Um, also, if you don't know what the soda stuff is, or you want to do summits on the air, I've made a special video series just for you. It's called Soda 360. I start out with an introduction, what the heck this thing is and why I do it. And I get into some of the planning and preparation that I do for summits on the air. You got to prep a little bit for the hike, what I carry, etc. And another video on a, uh, a reference activation for those of you that want to get out and hike and then kind of close it off with how I upload my contacts. A final one, I wouldn't say final because I'm going to continue to add to it, uh, but uh, for chasers. So if you don't want to go hiking or you can't for whatever reason, um, then you can take a look at that and uh, see how you would chase another station that is activating, how you find those guys, making your contact and logging it. So, that's our commercial for the day. Um, you can always find the videos at hamninja.com. There's a video link at the top, but given that you're watching this, I think you've already found it. Who is this idiot? Anyway, quiet morning out here this morning. Oof, and some fresh coyote poop. Alrighty then. Looks like some mountain bikers are already attacking the hill. I was just kind of being uh, leisurely lazy this morning, so I didn't get out too early. That's okay. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> okay. A little unexpected here to find a gurgling stream next to the road here. Pleasant surprise. My guess is the 
mountain is squeezing out the water that accumulated from all that rain that we got a couple of weeks ago. So, I don't know what it is about water that brings so much pleasure to humans. Certainly life sustaining, but maybe that's just the natural feedback mechanism. So we're drawn to it, drink water. And right where the stream kind of crosses the road, for the directionally challenged, like myself, they put up a sign. Keep you out of the, the uh, habitat restoration area and send you up the trail. So let's get cracking. Kind of nice and green and lush in here. It's pleasant. Um, get a little bit of shade. When I'm heading back down, I'll probably enjoy that. So I'm moving through. I'm gonna go up here, take a little shortcut up to the next trail. I think this is where we turn. I'm not sure. Let's pull the map out. Comical. And I'll post the uh, the track, but if you just keep going straight, which looks like the trail, you're actually using the little offshoot. So. Anywho, <laughs> go <coughs> watch my upcoming charting video on how to use all trails to uh, support this activity and uh, give my excellent navigation skills. You'll know why I use that. <sighs> Too funny. All right, off we go. Okay, you do have to keep watch on your chart because some for some reason I was just pulled off onto this trail, didn't see a split, and just followed it. I mean, not even 100 yards, but still, yet another reason to uh, make sure you have a chart with you maybe pay attention to where the hell you're going but I am enjoying quiet birds and the splashes of shade as they roll in over the trail here heading down this trail and this is why I didn't see the offshoot here that's gonna send us up to the peak so there you have it, and um, basically goes up and over, kind of through there and comes around. So probably that far peak back there is where we're headed. So let's get cracking, see how this works. I am on a trail, so there's no bushwhacking here. Just not marked on the charts, but uh, given to me by a friend. Thanks a lot, John. I appreciate it. This is really pretty, and now I know it, why it's one of your favorites. As always, recommend to people tell tell people where you're going. Um, I sent my wife a map of my intended route so and I just turned on my Garmin tracker why not anybody that knows I'm out here knows that they can click on the link on hamninja.com to get a better estimate of when I'm going to summit so kind of a multi-purpose thing there little valley here very nice right now um, so, yeah, and a little bit wet. It's going to be dry as heck in a few months. We'll enjoy it now with all the wildflowers blooming. Now, there's a little bit of bushwhacking here to figure out how to get up. 
but when I look at the contour lines, um, it takes me up through this, uh, I don't know, small ravine or what have you, just to the right of it. So that's all I need to aim for. Certainly you find other landmarks on the chart, which is that mountain, come around the back side of, up and over. So that's what we're going to do. And just picking my way through, looking for either game trails, other trails, or other ways to avoid damaging the vegetation and soil, creating erosion. Uh, I'm bringing an earlier rule, never go up a ravine, because the water makes stuff grow, but this isn't hellacious. So, still the right choice. All right, there's our mountain. Um, I'm tempted to go over that ridge, along the ridge. I see trails down here though. Uh, the path forward looks so hard and it's getting hot. I feel like quitting. Let's we'll see if we can do this. All right, I think I found the trail I'm supposed to be on. It is on the ridge. I can see it going all the way up there to that knob. Uh, my legs are all scratched up and bleeding. Gotta love it. Not. I'll take a little break here. Did find the trail. Ooh. Be interesting to see which way I go on this one. Up and over may be better after all. We'll see on the way back. Standing under a big rock for some shade. I think there's a few lessons in here. I think I'm learning the hard way, but anyway. One lesson is when you're tired and hot, get in a cool place and uh, relax. You're never in a hurry. You shouldn't be out here. Um, it's nice in the shade. Um, it is an extremely clear day. Um, so it's going to make it for a hotter hike than, than uh, of course, we always envision something wonderful. Um, but in this case, I figured, well, I didn't need to really get going that early. I got up at 6 and 6.30 and got my coffee and let that settle in and then hit the road, uh, pack my gear and hit the road. So definitely should have been out here at uh, 5.30. But uh, it is what it is. Um, it's certainly doable. Just uh, kind of a suffer fest. I think I'll find a better way on the way back. Uh, it won't be as bad. So. I uh, followed a false trail maybe, but I did climb back up and made a good choice on the ridge when I saw the trails up there. Kind of figured that'd be the case. Um, that is what I charted, so sometimes boots on the ground are better uh, than charts in the office. Um, that's happened several times for me, but uh, I don't know if this one is or not. <sighs> wow. I'll get a little something to eat here, a little chocolate, and uh, get back to work. All right, this is what we're gonna do. See, I'm inspired by the guy climbing this cliff here. So, if it works for him, it must work for me. Back on the trail again after a break. And I uh, feel much better now. So, I'll head up and around this rock and we'll be on the summit. Come out of the really dry stuff. A little greener. Uh, this is November 6th, Alpha November. And um, I saw some cairns along the path here. It's definitely been used. Boot tracks and stuff, so definitely on the right path here. Okay, at the summit. Path all the way up here. So hopefully I can stand on the way down. Um, I can verify now that. There are rattlesnakes up here. Um, ran into one fellow who gave me plenty of warning and uh, he seemed a little pissed off. Uh, he was up and uh, hopefully I got a picture of him for you. I didn't really want to hang around and shoot video. And um, I'm, like, uh, I'm like Indiana Jones. I really don't like snakes. I'm sorry, especially the rattlesnakes. Uh, it's, uh, I guess it's just a survival thing. Anyway. I'm ready to get, get to work here, set up my chair. Um, I was kind of thinking I shouldn't have brought it, but I am glad I brought it. It's super, super lightweight, so 
Hopefully it works out on this peak. Let's get to work. Very good. Yeah, your, your battery is holding up. Yeah, just keep it on low power. You don't need anything more than uh, the lowest power on, uh, on uh, FM because it really sucks batteries, uh, even though you have a, an ample battery in there. I've got the uh, 878 uh, Plus as well. Um, I'm uh, running 50 watts right now on a TYT MD9600 uh, uh, DMR rig, and uh, I've got the... Uh, a 380, uh, whatever it is, a 380 in the car, a TYT with the, uh, the uh, uh, amp. Okay, see ya. Uh, keep cool. NJ 6 up. N1 CLC um, up on, uh, I don't know what the heck the name of the mountain is, doesn't have a name. Summit's on the air, SC260 if anybody wants to contact. Kilo 6, Mike X ray Alpha. Kilo 6, Lima Delta Quebec. Okay, Kilo 6 Mike X-Ray Alpha. Dude, I got off trail and it was a vicious little bushwhack for a while. Oh no, man, I thought you had my route you could follow. I did, but uh, I got a question for you. Do you go directly over that peak that's next to this one? You go over the top? Where the cross is? Roger. Uh, you would go just, just east of it, so you're not, you're not right where the crosses but you're uh, I don't know a couple hundred feet towards the uh, east I think it'd be east yeah it's just when I, I, I basically got back onto the trail that came up here but um, I saw that on the way back it goes along the ridge there and hits that other hill and then goes over the top so I'm figuring that's the way I should go instead of breaking to the uh, I don't know to the west there yeah, like I said, there, there's actually a trail the, the whole way, so you should never really have to bushwhack. It's probably overgrown, you know, especially since all the rain we got. But, yeah, you shouldn't have had to bushwhack. That's a bummer. I can't believe you're doing it this late in the day, this hot. All right, man, I'll say 73. And uh, break, there was another station in there. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, uh, Flynn Mountain. Summit's on the air, 146.52. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I've done that a few times uh, with KCTG and V, testing out uh, DMR. I'm that. I'm the goofball in his video. Oh, okay, okay. That's what. That's what. What happened? Okay, very good. Well, that sure turned out to be a good video. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, uh, watch the rattlesnakes and uh, uh, be cool. I just wanted to pass that on. Four four one might be interesting up there. You never know. NJ six F. Roger, Roger. N one CLC QRZ. And was that KE6 REO? Affirmative. Kilowatt Echo 6, Romeo Echo Oscar. Pleased to meet you. Name's Jason. Hey, thanks, Jason. I'm doing uh, summits on the air, so I'll log you here, and I, that actually might get me act fully activated here. We'll see. Copy that. Good luck. Have a good one, and uh, stay safe out there. It's a beautiful day. KE6 REO. Talk to you later. Yeah, thanks, Jason. And one CLC. I'll be monitoring 14652. If there's any other stations out there that want us out of contact. N1 CLC, this is Kilo 6 Lima Delta Quebec. Kilo 6 Lima Delta Quebec, N1 CLC, I got you 5 9. Hey, good morning. Glad I got you. You um, kind of got you by the noise. You're, well, actually, kind of varies. You're probably about a 5 2, 5 2 here at Torrance. Roger, Roger, let me stand up. Uh, how's this? <clears throat> <laughs> Much better. You're like a 5 4 now. Okay, yeah, Roger, Roger. Thanks for the contact, man. Uh, this little—it's uh, a little MFJ whip. Uh, not little, but it's—it's uh, a—it's a two-meter whip, so it seems to be working pretty good. Oh yeah, it's doing real good. And what's your identifier? I am on Whiskey Six Sierra Charlie Two Six Zero. Sierra Charlie Two Six Zero. 
That's a Roger Roger. All right, great. Thank you very <coughs> much. Seven threes and thanks again. Alrighty, 73 man. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air at Whiskey 6 Sierra Charlie 260. <clears throat> okay, uh, N1CLC is going to queue with Y over to HF. I'll be monitoring 14652. And uh, good afternoon, San Diego. CQ, 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 November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air at Whiskey 6 Sierra Charlie 260, any station, anywhere. Whiskey, Whiskey 7 Delta, got you, 5-5. Uh, five, five. Okay, Roger, Roger. Thanks for the contact, man, and have an awesome weekend. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, QRZ. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Whiskey 0, ERI. Uh, good afternoon, Martha. Uh, good afternoon to you. We're in about uh, 5 and 6. 5 and 6 in the right now. QSL, QSL, I got you. 5 8, 5 8, Martha. Roger, Roger. Thank you, Martha. And one CLC for summits on the air. Whiskey zero, Mike November Alpha. Whiskey zero, Mike November Alpha. I uh, got you five eight five eight over. Roger, Roger. Uh, thanks a lot, Gary. Alrighty, November one, Charlie Lima, Charlie for summits on the air. Whiskey uniform seven hotel. Good afternoon. Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, how do you read? Alrighty man, I got you 5-7, five, 5-7 seven, five, seven up here. Alrighty, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, I'm going to QSY to CW, QSY to CW, and uh, maybe we'll catch you guys out there. Uh, okay, um, that was a good activation. It's not that hot up here in the shade. There's a slight breeze about five knots or more. Um, the antenna stayed up the entire time, which is always a bonus. Um, 
and I got contacts from coast to coast. My CW was uh, not too bad today, and my copy uh, got a bunch of them on the first try, so um, maybe there's some improvement. Uh, relaxing, I'm not in any big hurry, but um, time to go down. It's going to be hot on the way down, I'm going to be in the sun, but um, hopefully I can avoid the, uh, the rattlesnakes. Uh, definitely be watching out for those. <laughs> But the last little guy I ran into, uh, he made sure I knew he was there, and uh, I think we're good, you know. I may try a little uh, FM here, so uh, let me see if I can spot on FM, see if I can get anybody. Packed up, ready to roll. <clears throat> Ohana, no gear left behind. Check. Um, whole bunch of contacts check little breeze really good because it was fixing to be a hot bastard up here today but sitting in the shade in my operating position wasn't too bad um, so let's see if we can get down the mountain uh, without running into any snakes and all the way back was a trail so the bushwhacking which is the actual hardest to do ever uh, whenever you're hiking is uh not necessary you have trail all the way just follow the damn route um it is there's a bunch of them up there that's a problem is there's too many and i i follow something next thing i know i'm off route so i'm going to update the map uh for better resolution and uh if those of you want to do it contact me okay sign off n1 clc i'll be monitoring 146.52 73 Oh,